what is up legends so tonight was pretty crazy i actually had to run a few errands um i went to lowe's get something i needed got a bunch of towels here from target and uh you know of course while i'm here i always go ahead and check the pokemon card section just just in case but it's a tuesday night so kind of a random night i didn't really expect to find anything at all but lo and behold as i kind of uh strolled up to the front of the store where they keep the cards at this target there actually was a restock and it must have been this evening we actually had several of the ev tins so we got several blisters even for evolving skies so nothing huge but man it, it was enough for me to want to get something tonight so i picked up one of those tins and then i figured i would go just check in the back as well just to see in the toy section if they had anything now i've actually never found anything in a target toy section before but um i just actually found a, a clearance section right across from the pokemon section and randomly there were two more ev tins right there so it definitely has me rethinking the uh, restock days here in my area um you know could it be that tuesday nights are now the restock day here and actually you know i saw some photos of people in a facebook group they actually found um product on a sunday i think or maybe it was a saturday afternoon so kind of a random day so i don't know when they restocked at the other target but it was something somewhere around there so uh, anyway, definitely uh, check your stores, even on some obscure days like this. But hey, we don't have to draw this, uh, this Pokemon card hunt out. Let's go ahead and open up this tin. All right, Legends, we are back. And by the way, if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Luke. And after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So if you want to come along the journey with me, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like, which just uh, supports the channel. But we are going to open up what we got from Target. We got uh, these two tins. We opened up the Flareon tin last time, but now we're going to get into the Vaporeon and Jolteon, so I'm super excited about that. And then I also made some pretty cool trades recently that I wanna show you what we got from that, so let's get into it. All right, before we even get to our two tins here, let me quickly show you uh, one of the trades I made pretty recently. I had a guy, um, he actually heads up our local Facebook group, and he actually is the same person who traded me my first edition Fossil Dragonite. Uh, he was actually looking for some baby shinies from Shining Fates, which I have quite a few of them. I actually had uh, several that he actually needed. And, uh, you know, I'm, I don't really care about them as much. I, I think they're cool, but I mostly am interested in, you know, the original 150 Pokemon, the Kanto Pokemon, and some of the uh, Gen 2 Pokemon as well. But anyway, um, I was happy to trade those to him, as well as my full art Tapu Lele and Bolton full art shiny so anyway the first thing i got for all those things was actually two inteleon cards and if you guys um play the tcg you know that these are very playable cards and actually because of it it kind of makes it them a little bit more expensive so um but i'm glad i was able to pick those two up because i am working on completing a real life deck i have my online deck but it's uh so it's one I'm trying to rebuild in real life, but also I'm pretty excited about this one. I got this Mewtwo Blockstar promo card, which I love. I've always wanted this card. You know, it definitely looks, it, I've always thought it looks weird, but actually it looks better in person than I ever thought it did. And I think part of it is because um, from a distance, it almost looks like he like doesn't have eyes or something like that. But if you look very closely, I mean, you can see his eyes there. I actually really like this. Let's uh, pull this out real quick. Check on the condition. The front looking mostly clean. We got a little smudge marks up there. And then on the back, you'll see a little bit of whitening up there. A little dot up there, but yeah, I don't know. When I first got this, I thought maybe it was just it was lightly played, but maybe, maybe you would consider this near mint, actually. It might grade at like a seven, actually. I think if it weren't for this, I would be a little more confident to say near mint, but anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. That's gonna go in my, um, my other two binders, which I have a lot of commons and uncommons and just different Pokemon that I enjoy. I have a 
full pages dedicated to each of the Pokemon, so this will go in the Mewtwo page. And then on top of that, I actually have this uh, Articuno Black Star promo. So I really love these Watsy era promos. And this one is so clean. This one, I would say, is definitely near mint. If you look on the back here, yeah, like really no whitening. There's a little white spot right there, unfortunately, if you can see that. Um, but none on the edges, really. So, yeah, I'm super excited about those. Yeah. Basically, I had already had the um, the other two versions of this promo. I'm actually going to put these in a different sleeve. In fact, after I get this in a sleeve, let me show you the other two. And I'll kind of just tell you the story behind it if you're not familiar. I know some of you weren't around for that. So actually, I went and saw the second Pokemon movie in the theaters. And uh, with that, they actually gave you these promo cards. So I had the Zapdos one, which is a really cool one, and the Arctic or sorry, the Moltres one. And that's because um, if I remember correctly in the movie, it kind of features Lugia. And I think the uh, three legendary birds are kind of like wreaking havoc or something like that. And he kind of has to, or Lugia kind of has to step in. So yeah, um, I had the other two from my childhood, but I never, I don't think I had ever even really seen the Articuno. So I'm glad to kind of finally complete those three. So yeah, super excited about those trades. Super, I just, uh, you know, really recommend trading as a way to build your collection in a more economic way. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into our tins. Do Vaporeon. Our last tin, I feel like we did decent. We ended up with the uh, Urshifu Full Art, so... Full art is pretty, pretty good hit. Let's see if I can pop this out of here without damaging it. It's very difficult in my opinion. I don't know why they do it this way, but there we go. And actually I've already pulled this uh, from Eevee Heroes, the Japanese version, but it's cool to have both versions. Oh yeah, I forgot. I kind of wanted to stick our little trades up to the top here. I was like, like just showing off a little bit of my collection in each video here. All right, there they are. Very cool. Got our Vaporeon, stick him up there. Here is a code card for you guys. And we got our packs. Again, we'll do it in this order, starting with Sword and Shield. There's a code. I know that um, they're changing over the TCGO to uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. I wonder if the code card is still going to work the same way when they do that. Anyway, we got the Water Energy, Rhydon, Potion, Great Ball, Mana. Galarian Zigzagoon, Sizzlepeed, Chinchu, Ball Toy, Reverse Hollow Wulu, and a Durant. Next battle styles. Another code for you guys. Another water energy. Phoebe, Servine, Firo. Cherubi, Pechirisu, Chimicho, Chimcho, something like that, Honage, Horsey, Reverse Cacturn, and a Concluder, Con, I don't know. <laughs> All right, nothing in those two packs, but we got these two next, Chilling Rain, boom, there's that. I think that's four, right? Okay, good. Just making sure I didn't mess it up. Wow, another water energy. Very interesting. Justify gloves, weeding gloves, Avery, Ghastly, Coughing, Delibird, 
Galarian Farfetch'd, a cool Pokemon. Porygon, the Wacky Reverse Hollow. And behind there, do we got anything? Not a full art, but we have Sawsbuck. Man, okay. It's not looking good, guys. That one opened very, very strangely. There you go. All right, and another water energy. What in the world? This seems very suspicious. What do you guys think? Hurtier, Pyroar, Dream Ball, Zerua, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy, Flebabay. This is our Hollow Reverse, Feeble. And hopefully we have something behind here. We've got, what in the world, wishy-washy. Okay guys, this is not looking good. We need to get something much better in our Jolteon tin. I've heard some very mixed things. I know some of you in the comments have mentioned that you had some very bad pulls from this. But I've also seen people like Twice Baked Jake pull like a full art or a secret rare in like almost every tin. So who knows guys, who knows what the consistency is. And man, how do you get this out of here without damaging it? Like what is the deal? Gosh. All right, quick look at the condition. Yeah, seems decent, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like I, might have damaged it again like how do you help that all right quick sleeve on him there we are all right get this in a better order let's start off with battle styles this time here we go curious to know what do you guys think will be a worse set by the end of the year battle styles or fusion strike okay code card backwards code card of course i'm half joking but i don't know both of those sets seem a little bit lackluster to me but i know some people like, like battle styles and fusion strike apparently according to some may have the um Espeon VMAX, which would be awesome, the um, alternate art that we didn't get in English so far. Let's see what we can get from here. Congro, Spiro, Fomantis, Galarian Mr. Mime, Ball Toy, Min Fu. That's our reverse hollow Yamper. And we got a, okay, a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. I already have that one, but Definitely a cool Pokemon, I do like that one. Not quite as good as our last tin that got the full art version, but always be thankful. Let's get into Sword and Shield. There's that. Fighting Energy. BD, Ordinary Rod, Seeking, Vulpix. I like that artwork. I don't think I have that one yet. Hold on to that one. Mencino. Silly Cobra. Tricks are for kids. Crow. Crowagunt. Shelder. Looking. Looking mean. Looking fierce. Mawile. Reverse. And a. Cloister. It's a cool artwork. I'll take it. Chilling Rain. Boom, one, two, three, four. Psychic Energy, Hunter, Celio, Melanie. I think I may have needed that for my deck as well. Stick that to the side. Shuppet the Puppet, Cub Fu, Blitzel, Quillfish, Galarian Slowpoke, Cast Form, it says sunny form. It's kind of hard to read though. Very dark up there. And underneath that, we have 
I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that. Okay. So we got one V. I'm really hoping for better than this, guys. And we got two tins, so. All right. Last pack magic, guys. Let's hope for it. Another water energy. Scrafty. Snow leaf badge. Hippodon. Build a bear. Sheep. Little cat fox thing. Tentacool. So cool. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was close. I almost went. Almost jumped the gun there. Hop it. Reverse lantern. And to end off this video, we have a Gil Agath. Okay. Well, man, guys, that those two tins were kind of a ripoff in my opinion. I'm glad to have these promo cards and thankful for this, but of course I have this, so this is going to be available to trade in the Discord server. So make sure you're joined. I'd love to trade with you and I'm sure others would love to as well. Well, if you like this video, I think you'll want to check out one of these other videos on screen next. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon card openings and hunts in the future. And I just want to let you know that no matter what you've done in your past, God loves you and he has an awesome plan for your life. I'll catch you guys next time.